The solid lines indicate the pressures and corresponding temperatures under which two different phases can exist in equilibrium. For example, solid and vapor, liquid and vapor, and also solid and liquid. Both phase changes will take place in an observation cell, specially designed and constructed by Messer UK. The cell can withstand pressures of more than 1,000 pounds per square inch gauge, equivalent to 69 bar gauge. In the first sequence, the CO2 will be cooled by forced evaporation to the stage where it passes through the triple point. The cell is filled with liquid CO2 at an ambient temperature of 15 degrees centigrade when the equilibrium pressure is 49.7 bar gauge. Venting CO2 from the vapor phase above the liquid allows more liquid CO2 to decant from the supply cylinder into the cell, raising the liquid level. When the cell is sufficiently full, both valves are closed. When the cell contents have settled, the liquid and vapor are in equilibrium. This is represented by the cross on the liquid vapor equilibrium line. The vent valve is now open to release CO2 vapor into the space above the liquid. The pressure, and therefore the temperature of the liquid CO2, falls rapidly as it boils to produce more vapor. As the pressure and temperature decrease, the conditions are represented by a different point on the liquid vapor equilibrium line, once again indicated by a cross. The system has now moved further down the equilibrium line. Solid CO2 begins to form. A pressure of 4.2 bar gauge and a temperature of minus 56.6 degrees centigrade has been reached. This is the triple point the only combination of pressure and temperature at which three different phases of CO2, solid, liquid and vapor, can exist simultaneously in equilibrium. Pressure continues to fall, and below the triple point, only solid and vapor are present in the cell. Solid CO2 is commonly known as dry ice. 